these articles. So I'm going to get on here and talk about the guilt a lot of us feel as pretty women. Especially when we're around other females. Especially females within the family, within the church. I know my experience. I always felt guilty for being attractive. Especially when I was around certain people in my family, like my sister, who people always would compare us. Like, growing up with me and my sister, I was the quote-unquote pretty one. And the people would make sure to let us know that every time we would go to an event, a family gathering, a church function, anything, people would always compliment me over my sister, and I always felt bad about that. I, I never understood the adults that did that to us as children, where I would get more compliments than my sister. In a lot of ways, I would dumb down. I would dumb down my beauty a lot. Like sometimes, like like I, I like I would go without makeup, or maybe I would put my hair in a hat, or. You know, something that just kind of not do too much, even though that's how, like now, I'm a, health, I'm a healthy adult, but I, I, I experienced body dysmorphia for years, up until recently, and I feel like because I was compressing a part of myself, that it caused body dysmorphia to occur, because they say that when you compress a part of yourself, you're going to project it out somewhere else. All of us have aspects, both positive and negative, that we have rejected in this way and that lie in exile deep within us, begging to be expressed. Since energy can't be created or destroyed, it has to go somewhere. The energy these aspects create by crying out for attention must be offloaded somewhere. And so the ego uses that energy to project those aspects that we hate onto others in order to keep us unaware of their presence within ourselves. Pretty genius, eh? When we make any aspect of ourselves not okay, the ego perceives this as a threat to our survival. And because the ego is literally the survival mechanism of our brain, it buries this undesired aspect deep within our subconscious mind where it believes that we won't find it. And so with me, with my body dysmorphia, one of my triggers was always seeing another attractive woman or my boyfriend complimenting or talking about another attractive woman would be another trigger for me. And I learned that when you compress a part of yourself, like for me, I compressed being attractive, being pretty for years because I felt guilty about being pretty. So I compressed it for years to the point where my self-esteem wasn't so good anymore. And I ex developed body dysmorphia, anxiety, depression, because of all the gaslighting that I would experience growing up. I know a lot of the times that I would get overly complimented around women who didn't get as many compliments. Or if I was out with friends and guys who want to talk to me but not them, I would feel guilty about that. It was just always something when it came to my appearance that I felt guilty about. That's why I'm so glad that I found the community, Exoticals community, because I finally found a community of people who get where I am coming from. And it was so hard for years to have the safe space. I didn't have the safe space that I finally feel like I do now with the Exoticals community. I will be mainly um, speaking to exoticals who can relate to the whole you're not light enough, the in-betweens, the sometimes we get thrown into the light category, sometimes we get thrown into the dark category depending on what group of people, what area of the region of the world we're in. It's just going to depend on what category we get thrown in. I'm talking to those people specifically that our struggles that what we go through. That's why I titled this channel Pretty In Between for my in between girlies. I want to create a safe space for us 
for monoracial, white-skinned women, caramel color complected, not light-skinned enough, quote-unquote, that category, us, those people, we match the brown paper bag. We don't know if we pass or not. We're the same color as the brown paper bag, okay? <laughs> and people just love to make you feel guilty as a pretty girl, like, let you not speak to somebody at work or wherever. Now you don't speak to nobody. They'll give you that, like, who does she think she is? She Does she think she all that? And it don't be none of that. I be tired. I have social anxiety. How about that? I'm introverted. How about that? But people are always going to throw us into this like I'm sick of it so I'm so glad that we came up with this community like so this is a community this is piggybacking off of Exoticals community I'm creating my own channel and my channel's focus would be more focused on the girlies that are match the brown paper bag so let me know you guys' thoughts comment in the comment section have any questions I want us to really build community like we really have to stick together as examples, so here I am making my own channel, trying to make a difference. So let me know what you guys think, and I will see you guys next time.